I've only been scooped once, really, uh, and that happened, it was basically the last chapter of my thesis. Uh, it was a star called uh, Kepler-17. This is a star where the, the transit is going right across the equator and we can use uh, bumps, little wiggles in the transit to infer the location, uh, location of star spots along, along the transit. So this, is a, this was a project that I worked on for like two years in my PhD and, and I gave talks about it and I put, I think I put even like, I put like videos online and stuff about the, the animations and the work that we were doing, but like I never finished the paper. I had a good draft, I had a full chapter when I graduated in 2015 but I never got the paper out. And some, like six or eight months after I graduated, uh, a paper came out that published basically, not exactly, but basically the same thing that I had done. And, and they had like the, the key figure that I had made where I had traced like the evolution of these star spots. They basically had the same figure, but like sideways. <laughs> so it was basically the same thing. Um, <clears throat> and, and you know, like, it makes me mad that uh, that figure <laughs> was basically stolen I don't know. It, it makes me mad that it was like basically the same thing that I had shown at a conference like six or eight months before. Um, but the, you know, like there's the parable about the scorpion and the frog, like uh, I should have published this. It was kind of my fault for not publishing it. The moral of course is like publish early, publish often. But uh, for me the takeaway was also like um, lower the bar for publication. Like you don't have to just publish what you publish doesn't have to just be the peer-reviewed ultimate final article because I did put conference proceedings out and animations out and some really nice figures out and it's in my thesis of course so these are venues that were published before this other paper came out and so I am still getting some cred for that work like I'm, it's still being counted sort of so that's worth something and it's worth remembering that like publications shouldn't just be papers like your academic your scholarship your scholarly impact uh, isn't just the papers. Uh, and so putting out scholarly work uh, is important, even if it's not just papers. It's important to build your brand and what you're making in science so that people know what you're doing. So I would say publish broadly, publish early. Publish before you publish. <laughs>